Dajjal, the false messiah, who has to impersonate the true messiah and get the Jews to believe that he is the true messiah. In, in Trinidad, we say, give them a six for a nine, deceive them. Hmm? Dajjal, if he is to successfully impersonate the true Messiah, will have to rule the world from Jerusalem. Because when the true Messiah comes back, that is what he's going to do. He's going to rule the world from Jerusalem. Nabi Muhammad Islam, said so, that he would be Hakim al Adil. Hakim, a ruler, Adil with justice. Hmm? So Dajjal has to rule the world. Is Dajjal is in the Quran? There are so many who dismiss the subject. They say, no, this is nonsense. This is not in the Quran. There is no mention of Dajjal in the Quran. It hurts me, of course, to have to utter these words. <laughs> but that's schoolboy scholarship. <laughs> that's not real scholarship. What you can say is that Dajjal is not to be found in the Muhkamat of the Quran. But Dajjal is most certainly to be found in the Mutashabihat of the Quran. Now that would be a more sensible statement. Uh, several ayat of the Quran, particularly in Surah Al-Kaf, which are directly linked to Dajjal. Nearly everything which pertains to Dajjal needs to be interpreted like the mountain of gold. And we'll do that tomorrow, inshallah. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu islam, about Dajjal, that when he is released, released from what? He's on an island. If you've read uh, <laughs> Jerusalem in the Quran, I, I wrote that book about how much, 14 years ago? <laughs> Right? It was published about 13 years ago. If you read that book, you will see the Hadith. The Dajjal was on an island. And he was in chains, okay? His hands were chained to his neck. His feet were chained and so on. And we don't have the time to go over that now. But when he's released, said the Prophet, والسلام, from that island, he will live on earth for how many days? 40 days. But when the prophet uses the word 40, be careful. Because someone asked him which is the first masjid which was built. He said the Kaaba. And then they asked him which was the second masjid which was built. They said Masjid Al-Aqsa, Jerusalem. And then they asked him how many years? How many years were there between the construction of the two? He said 40. What did you do? A couple thousand years. <laughs> he said 40. So when he uses the word 40, do not understand it literally. This is Mutashar Bihar. The Jal will live on earth for 40 days. One day which would be like a year, one day which would be like a month, one day which would be like a week. And then all the rest of his days like your days. My book Jerusalem and the Quran was based on this hadith. I came to the conclusion that it was only when the Jal was in a day which is like our day, only then would we be able to see him. Because he's in our world of space and time. Prior to that, he's here on earth. But we can't see him. Are there angels in this room? Answer me. Yes, there are. 
Each one of us have two angels. Can we see them? No. Are there jinn in this room? Yes. Can we see them? No. So too with the job. In his day like a year, in his day like a month, in his day like a week, he's here but we cannot see him. Only when his day is like our day, at the end of his life, then we will see him. And the Prophet said he will be a Jew. He will be a young man. He'll be powerfully built. And he'll have the curls that the Orthodox Jews have. Hmm? And from Jerusalem, he'll declare, I am Al-Masih, the Messiah. And they'll accept him. They'll accept him. But before that, he's here on earth, but we cannot see him. I came to the conclusion that he had to pass through three stages of his mission before he would appear in person. And in stage one, what he did was to build and create a, a ruling state in the world, namely Britain. Britain. When I was a child, uh, we had to sing God Save the King, you know, in school. You know about that. We had to sing, sing God Save the King every morning before going to class. God Save the King. And then when I was 10 years of age, King George died. And then Elizabeth took over. We had to sing God Save the Queen. So Imran Hussein was singing God Save the Queen. <laughs> now, now I look back at those days, you didn't have nobody to tell us? What nonsense is this? God save the king, God save the queen. Britain became the ruling state in the world. It never happened before in history. And it, it became known as the age of Pax Britannica. You may have heard the term. Pax Britannica, for the first time in human history, meant that one state had the power to dominate the rest of the world. And no combination of rivals could threaten that power. That was bitter. Hmm? And uh, tomorrow we will see that when Britain became the ruling state in the world, it was not only on the basis of military power, but also control over money, sterling pound. When we were at school, we had to learn one pound four eighty, two pound nine sixty. He's shaking his head. He's shaking his head. One pound four eighty, two pound nine sixty, three pound fourteen forty. Why? Because the, ster the sterling pound was the, his majesty, the ruling money in the world. Hmm? Then I came to the conclusion that when the Jal moved to stage two, a day like a month, that the United States now replaced Britain as the ruling state in the world. And the United States did not become the ruling state based only on military power, but also on the basis of control over money. And so the British sterling pound had to give way for the US dollar to replace it. Hmm? Tomorrow's lecture is going to be fascinating for you on the monetary system. And when Dajjal's day, like a month, is coming to an end, which is where we are now. And a day, like a week, is about to commence. That the United States is going to give way to a third state. Which is going to become the new ruling state in the world. And in the same way that Pax Britannica gave way to Pax Americana, so too will Pax Americana give way to Pax 
Judaica and Israel will become the ruling state. This is where we are now. The question, however, is the United States is so big and the world has grown so big in these last 100 years. Population is expanding dramatically. How can little Israel rule a big, 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 big world like this? Not possible. Either Israel has to expand and become big like the United States to rule the world, which is not possible. Why? Because Israel is located in a sea of Islam. <laughs> All around is Muslims. Or the second possibility is that the world has to become smaller. Which one will it be? Will Israel expand and become so big or will the world contract and become smaller? What does the Quran have to say? The verse is in Surah Al-Isra, Surah number 17 of the Quran. And listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to say. This is Ilmu Akhiru Zaman, or the study of the end time. وَإِمْ بَعْدَعُوذِ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَإِمْ مِنْ قَرْيَةٍ إِلَّا نَحْنُ مُهْلِكُوهَا قَبْلَ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ أَوْ مُعَذِّبُوهَا عَذَابًا شَدِيلًا كَانَ ذَلِكَ فِي الْكِتَابِ مَسْتُورًا And there is not a single town or city that will escape. But we will destroy them all. This is the Quran. This is not Hadith. This is Quran. There is not a single town or city that will escape. But we will destroy them all before Kiyama. And those which escape destruction will be punished with severe punishment. And this is something inscribed in the book. This verse of the Quran is warning us of great destruction that is to come to the world. There are other verses of the Quran, but we don't have the time to turn to them on the Malhama. And then there are the Ahadiths which speak very specifically, like that one which says that 99 out of every 100 would be killed. Hmm? We are now located at that moment in time when a day which is like a month is coming to an end and a day which is like a week is about to begin. If we go back now to that moment when Pax Britannica was giving way to Pax Americana, there were big wars in the world. They call it the First World War. They call it the Second World War. That's the name they have for it. For me, they were European wars, not world wars. But these were wars in which the world experienced destruction like never before in history. I was born when the Second World War was taking place. Yeah. Um, millions and millions of people were killed, particularly Europeans in those world wars. So in order for Israel to replace the United States of America as the ruling state in the world, 
you don't need a PhD to know that not only does Israel have to take over from the US dollar, and new money has to come, that Israel will control, but also there will be great wars. Who will the wars be fought against? There are two forces in the world, two, which stand up to resist Israel. Who are they? Number one, the followers of Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Those whose Qibla are in Makkah. Because, forgive me for saying so, don't be annoyed with me. We have people whose Qibla in Washington. Forgive me for saying so, don't be annoyed with me for saying so. There are people who prefer, prefer to hold on to the U.S. visa than to be faithful to Islam. My U.S. visa is more important to me than being faithful to Allah and Islam. Forgive me, please forgive me, but I have a job to do.